Hi, my name is Elizabeth Green, and in this video, I'm going to show you a very quick way where you can analyze a very large keyword set and find long-term variations of core keywords within a matter of minutes. So if that's something you're interested in, just keep watching and we will get right into it. And if you're interested, this channel, we cover lots of high level tips and tricks to help you make the most of your Amazon advertising. If that's something you're interested in, definitely want to subscribe, click the notification bell because we're dropping videos like this as often as possible. All right, so let's get into it. What I'm actually going to be doing is showing you a formula and what I did um, or what we're looking at the screen right now is a long keyword list that I downloaded from Helium 10. So what I did is I went to Helium 10, great tool, definitely something you want to have in your arsenal, and I typed in water bottle and generated a very large keyword list. Now this particular list, I didn't filter it at all. So I'm looking at, I think, upwards of 15,000 keywords. That's a lot to go through if you are you know, trying to sort something. So this formula is going to be very helpful. And what I did is I just added a couple rows to the top and I also added a filter across here, made a couple blank columns just so I can be able to input this. So what we're gonna be typing in is a spreadsheet formula. And this formula is called a search formula. So what we're going to do is go up here to this first row and we're going to type, um, and actually first what I need to do is I need to figure out the long tail or the um, my main chord keyword that I want to search for within all of these keywords. So this is the top word here, water bottle. Obviously, this one has a high search volume, but I can guarantee you the cost of advertising on this particular keyword is going to be pretty astronomical. And if you don't really um, want to spend a large budget, a good recommendation to do would be to find long tail variations of this particular keyword. Now, I could go through here and say, okay, this is water bottle, let's scroll down, let's look at the search volume, let's find, you know, sports water bottle and my sports water bottle, etc. But there's a faster way to do this, to condense all of, this key, all of these keywords into all of the long tail variations of a certain core keyword. So let's do that now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm just going to paste it into a cell here. It doesn't really matter which cell as long as um, it's not on the rows that contain the keyword list. That's kind of important because when you filter this, um, you don't want to get rid of this top cell here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into my cell and it needs to be on the row that contains whatever keyword I want to check. And I'm going to start typing in my spreadsheet function, which is going to be, I'm going to use the search function here. And what the search function does is it takes um, a text string or something and it says, is this contained within this other cell? And if this cell does contain it, it's gonna pop up a number. If it doesn't, we're gonna get an error. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here first to the cell that contains the text string that I want to look for. In this case, it's water bottle. And then this part's very important. You wanna hit F4 on your keyboard and that's going to lock this. So when we drag this down to check these other rows, this one reference cell is not going to move. And that's pretty important, otherwise your formula is not gonna work properly. And then we type a comma to indicate we're looking for um, we're going to input this next and this is going to be the text to search now the text to search is going to be on that row we're looking for and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit um, close parentheses to close out our function and then click enter and um i'm in google sheets and it actually has this autofill it suggests to autofill down and yes yeah, so i do want to autofill down um the other way if that doesn't pop up for you you can take this little box here and you can drag it down or if the below row is blank you see this little box here when you have the plus symbol you can actually double click and if these cells were empty it will autofill all the way down to the bottom which is a quicker way of doing it so now what it's doing is it's saying, is water bottle contained in this keyword? And if it is contained in the keyword, it's going to pop up a number. If it's not contained, you're going to get an error message. So it says error 
um, search evaluation cannot find water bottle within hydro flask, which is true. Water bottles cannot contained within hydro flask. And you can make this a lot cleaner, a true and false statement, but it doesn't really matter if it's super messy as long as we get the outputs we need because what we can do now um, and like I said, I've applied a filter here already. If you don't have the filter, you can highlight the row you want to filter and then just go up here, turn on filter. And if I filter this data and I go and uncheck value, so I don't want to see anything with the error message, it's only going to condense all of the different keywords that contain water bottle in it. Now, water bottle is the main keyword. You're going to still get a really long list. So I will show you um, how you might actually use this formula to quickly filter some other things. Um, I do want to point out a couple um, issues that you may find with this particular formula. The one being if this has an S on the end, say the main keyword was water bottles. If this was changed to water bottles, I wouldn't find water bottles. I would find hydro flask water bottles, but let me see if I can find another one. So water bottle with straw wouldn't pop up. Now you might still be interested in searching water bottles or water bottle with straw. So what I would recommend is um, using the non-plural form of, of whatever your um, main core word is because if you um, don't have the S on the end, because it's only searching for that particular text string, it's still going to catch anything that says water bottles. You notice how there's the S on the end of this particular keyword. It still picked it up because water bottle is contained within that text string. Now it is going to get a little hairy if, now this is not going to be grammatically correct, but if you type in waters bottle and say that was your main keyword, there are some keywords where, you know, the main keyword, the um, maybe the middle or the first particular um, word is plural. That may mess up if you are looking for something, maybe you just want to see um, water. So in those cases, what I would recommend would be to um, search for that plural variation and then maybe um, get rid of the plural and then search down. Because if something's added on the end, on the very end or before, it will pick up those, um, it will identify that that core keyword is contained within whatever the longer keywords are. But if, um, you know, the additional letters are in the middle or in front of it, uh, it's not going to um, identify those keywords. Now this isn't, um, this formula is not case sensitive. So some um, formulas that are cross-checking things are case sensitive. A search formula is not. That doesn't really matter in a keyword list like this. However, it might be useful if you find other applications for this particular formula. Okay, now let me show you how you can quickly use this to sort. So because we're referencing this particular cell here, I'm able to change whatever is in this cell and it will change my formula so I can then filter it. For instance, I'm searching for water bottle. Like we identified, there's a lot of other keywords with water bottle in it, but you can get as specific as you want to with this particular string. Um, so perhaps, let's see. If you want to find, um, maybe you have a 64 ounce water bottle variation and you want to see if there's anything containing that particular variation. Let's see if there's anything else. And there are a couple. So if you wanted to get very specific, you can. So notice there's quite a few with um, that 64 ounce keyword in it. And then you might even search um, you might identify that keyword list and copy it over and then even search without the space as well to see if there's anything else that contains that. Let's check. And there are a couple that don't include the space. So you might want to um, scrape those as well. And it can help you quickly get to subsections of the market. For instance, um, if you also have a pink, I could find... Pink water bottle. Let's see if we have anything containing pink water bottle, and we do. So 
there's all my pink water bottle keywords and then you can then of course sort and filter these as you want or if you um are not interested in sports bottle let's see you can actually search for all the keywords with sport And notice I'm using sport, not sports, because if I'm using sport, it will pick up anything with sports in it as well. So sports bottle, bottle, sports bottle, um, and all of these. Now there's quite a few of these ones. So you might look at, you know, sports water bottles. All right, so maybe you identified, okay, sports water bottle is the highest search volume here. I wanna find all of my long tail variations with sports water bottle and then so then I would just do that and then there's everything with my sports water bottle a much smaller list and then you can comb through this one as well so hopefully you can begin to see how this is a um, a really useful formula to use to sort keyword lists like this as well as you might just want to go through your current campaign so if you pull a targeting report or a bulk file and you have your main keyword, you might be interested to know how all the long tail variations of that keyword are doing, or if you have any long tail variations of a core keyword that you're already targeting, you could um, just identify where those are contained within your campaign. So this is um, a formula that can be used um, quite a few different ways, and hopefully you found this helpful. Again, if you like videos like this, um, please consider subscribing, um, clicking the notif notification bell, and if you have any questions on this, or if you have any other videos like this that you are really interested to see, make sure you leave it in the comment section below because we answer every single comment under our videos as well as try to create videos that um, you will find useful.